Today I'm in my backyard and I have a little fern garden that I want to talk about. It's spring now, the hostas are just starting to come up, the uh, apple blossoms are starting to come out, the leaves are starting to come on the maple trees, and my little fiddlehead ferns are starting to come up and poke out of the ground and unfurl. So let's talk about the ferns a little bit today. This fern garden's interesting because my friend said, hey, we're gonna be moving, so you can come to our house and take any plants you want. So I dug up a big uh, network of ferns from their backyard. It was a big mass of roots, and I brought them over here and planted them, and they come back every year. I made a little ring of stones around them, and as they're expanding, they start sprouting out beyond the ring of stones so sometimes I have to rearrange the stones but they're very interesting and ferns are a very primitive plant these things go way back to the days of the dinosaurs when dinosaurs roamed the earth there were ferns ferns are really simple a very simple plant they don't have flowers you know flowers reproduce with the stamen and the pistil ferns are very simple they use spores to replicate themselves. And ferns and moss are really simple and primitive, but very interesting and hardy plants. Where I'm at back in my backyard is pretty sunny now. There used to be three more large trees in the backyard, and those provided a lot of shade. But those three large trees have been removed, so this area is actually sunnier than what you really want for ferns, but they're doing okay because they're very well established back here. They're called fiddlehead ferns, because the curled up end is reminiscent of the end of a violin, a fiddle, how it's curled up. And fiddlehead ferns are something that some people eat. I didn't taste any of these, had no inclination to eat one, but can you imagine clipping off these little tiny things and scooping them up and putting them in your food? It would take an awful lot of them to make a meal. Not the fiddlehead ferns, but other types of fern called the leatherleaf fern are used by florists to embellish bouquets of flowers. Alright, I'm going to stop narrating the video and just let you enjoy the beauty of the fiddlehead ferns. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video and watch for more videos in the future. I'm working on a little greenhouse, so maybe I'll make some greenhouse videos. Thanks a lot.